Hey guys, this is Josh with TalkAboutATheme.com. Today I was just going to go over real quick. Um, I've had some requests on making uh, recommended gear pages or um, how you could go about making the two-column style that like, Dirt Bike Planet uses. And people are confused how that works. But when you go to their gear page, you basically just have the main picture so a featured image that's added to the post. And then you have these, right? And people were wondering how these were done, but all they are is it's a columns that are split 50-50, and they just have an image. So they have a stock background. They overlay the image, and then they had a section that they put a, a, a text on in the background, and then just saved as an image, and then you put the image and you link to whatever the sub page is. So I mean it's pretty straightforward. I'm not going to go through making as fancy an image as this. Uh, with stencil I just made a example 350 by 250 image which is pretty close to this size. And what you're really going to do is you would want to do like an add new for your page. And then Right, and just name it recommended or whatever you're interested in. So I always click default. Unless you have Divi or Elementary, you're not going to get that prompt all the time. So let's save the draft here first. And just to make it look as close as possible, we can actually just do uh, save this. And then we'll go ahead and add this onto here. So we'll just do image. Right. And then they just have two text sections. So I mean, you can easily just go in here, right? Add these. Okay. So here's just where this other section comes in. So we're just going to go ahead and download this as just a placeholder, basically. And then what you do is you go down here. Right. This next one you're going to do columns. And then you probably want to just do 50-50 so they're split evenly. And then you'll want to upload the image. So that will go into my downloads. And then what you would do is do another image over here. And what you'll see is that now they're there, they're even with each other. If we save a draft in preview, what you'll see is uh, this look. So recommended, and then you'll see image and image, right? So basically, same as what theirs are. Obviously, you can go fine tune this with making a pretty background and giving it a, a good uh, footer with uh, darkening text behind it. Um, you could do it easily in stencil. So, like, here we can make this like a. Here. Let's do, right? Let's go find, you know, a background, right? In here, you can do, you know, a square. So you can easily just go squeeze this in and put it there, right? And then all you'd want to do is go down here. Right, add text and be like, this is a title. Right, and we can download. We download this as a title. Now you go in here, and what you're going to do is you can either create a new one in here, new columns, or I'll frequently go out here where you actually grab the columns and just duplicate. Each one that you do will stack, which means that you won't have, they'll be balanced across and they'll line up with each other. So instead, we'll go ahead and change this. Upload this one instead. Right. And we'll save this again. And what you'll see is now you have this. So this gives you the image. This starts to build this look, right? 
once you do this, all you have to do is link these, see how they click it and it takes you over to this other page, right? And it's basically just another page full of organized links. So what you do is in here, once you go to the image, you actually just go to link. And instead of being the file for the attachment or the media, you just link out to another page. So we're just going to copy the link address for the home page. <clears throat> we'll put the home page in here, right? So now this one, when we save it, this one, when we reload this, is going to take us to the home page now. So what you can do is using this, you can easily replicate building this page style, just taking a little bit of time to go do your pictures as you want them to be done, and that'll get you going. Uh, try to keep this one simple and easy today, but this way you can easily put together a link through page to get you through, and it takes just a few minutes to really do well inside Gutenberg without any extra effort. Thank you, everybody. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like this, and leave me some comments if you'd like me to make other videos. I appreciate everything, and this will exist as recommended if you want to come take a look at it on the live site. Thank you, everybody. All right. Talk to you later.